Hi, I'm Brad Capel. Welcome back to another waterfront update. Now this morning I'm out here on Weems Creek, which is one of my favorite deep water anchorages located right in the heart of Annapolis, just off the Severn River. And right over my shoulder here, you can see there's a beautiful sailboat and it's tied to a mooring. So today I thought we'd talk about what is a mooring. And the interesting thing about Weems Creek is actually there's an imaginary line that runs right up the center of Weems Creek. On one side you have the city area, on the other side is the county. Each side has separate rules for moorings and on the city side they have permanent fixed moorings that you can rent on a daily basis, you can rent it for a month or even for a year. On the county side you can have private moorings and that's what I want to talk about because a lot of waterfront properties do not have a pier or maybe they don't have deep water right in front of the house and a lot of homeowners still want to have a boat and they still want to be able to keep a boat at their house. So you can have a private mooring and a mooring is essentially a white ball that's attached to a chain and the chain goes down to the bottom and it's either screwed to the seafloor or it's attached to a heavy weight or a mushroom anchor. Now there are rules for putting in a mooring as you can imagine and uh, you know one of the main things is you can't put a mooring ball directly in front of somebody else's property where it's going to interfere with their repairing rights. You may remember we talked about repairing rights before which are essentially the rights of a property owner to egress to the water to have access back and forth. The second rule is you're not allowed to impede the navigable channel. That's the channel that boats use to go in and out of a creek or a waterway. And then the third thing is they look at what's called the swing area, which means if you have a mooring ball and it's attached to a chain to the bottom, that mooring ball is going to go in a big circle. That circle is essentially the swing area of the mooring ball. Can't allow the mooring to interfere with the channel or somebody else's property when it swings. So those are kind of the three main things, but moorings can be a great asset if you're a waterfront homeowner because a lot of sailboats, like the sailboat behind me, have a very deep keel, which means that the bottom of the boat goes down really far and you're not going to find a lot of properties where you can tie that up right at the pier in front of the house so a mooring can be a good solution for that but uh anyway i just want to talk to you about moorings and if you have any questions relating to waterfront property give me a call i'd love to help you out i'd love to answer any questions you have i'm brad capel i hope you're having a great holiday season and tune in for some more waterfront tips and topics and i'll see you out here on the water